Hey! Come on. Oh, come on. Serious? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to South Mountain Creamery. We have moved into mid-spring. And it's more of the same. We are going to be cultivating some fields. And maybe planting some fields. We'll just have to see. I mean, we got an awful lot of barley. I don't know about putting in more wheat. Um, other than just to have a ton of it. So I'm thinking about maybe just holding off and putting in um, putting in corn and soybeans. We'll see. See how things all work out. We've got way too much seed around here. Uh, we're just going to pretend that that is the seed that we're actually going to plant as opposed to uh, what it actually says. Hey, Haggard, what's up? Hey, Raznik. Hey, Raznik. Howdy ho, people at home. But I said hey to you in chat. I might as well say hey to you. Hey, Mike, what's up? Hey, DB. See how much should we get? Oh, it's that's good. It should be good. Oops, put that down. I like using this uh, bobcat so much. I think I'm going to use it to load these uh, pallets up. Hey, Darren, what's up? Got Raznik over at the farm cultivating up some fields. Gonna finish up the cultivating. We got some dairy products to haul. Got all kinds of work to do today. This is a, I really like these tracks because you can, I mean, you know, the outside spins faster than the inside when you turn. It's pretty cool. So I'm thinking, since we got all that, since we got those three fields and barley, I'm thinking about actually not putting anything else in the ground until, uh, until late spring and putting in corn and beans in. I'm going to put, uh, put corn in where we don't have anything at the main farm. I'm going to put beans in there and then just put corn up at the uh, BGA. Yeah. Then maybe the uh, barley will come due and then we can put corn in where the barley is. Let's see. But we've got plenty of uh, silage in the bunkers that if we end up going a year without uh, corn at the main farm, we'll be fine. Yeah, I was going to say you could just do all cash crop this year if you wanted. Because the secret that I'm going to let out is once uh, East Coast hits, we're going to pack up shop and move out to uh, wherever the East Coast farm is. We're already on the East Coast. Move to an area. That sounds like fun. Hey, what did you think of those? Some of those screenshots were pretty crazy. That was CCS put out. Yeah, the ones yesterday and today. Yeah, he's going all out on this one, I think. I know DB's been like, oh, where is it at? Where is it at? But maybe, <laughs> maybe we could encourage him to make it an early, uh, early 19 conversion also. That'd be cool.
Oh, uh, you're harvesting for eight hours a day. That would be that would be pretty tiring. So you're running the harvester. You're bringing in. Uh, what were you bringing in? We got three. This is so the GM is mirroring our real life weather because we got three straight days of rain in summer. <laughs> Since this is six day seasons, the uh, what each each day is like three weeks. Yeah. So it's six weeks of rain. That's about right. That's been raining like crazy here. We haven't, we thankfully haven't had any rain since maybe a little bit on Friday. The ground is still nice and squishy. How are your pumpkins doing? Oh, they're done. Well, I think the plant's done. I took them off the plant probably two weeks ago. Because it looked like the plant was dying. I don't know if the plant was dying because too much rain or just that time of the year die off. Got 12. <laughs> 12 on accident. Yeah, 12 pumpkins. You gonna try to repeat? Leave them out again? Well, we had one of the 12 seemed to have gotten a little wormhole in it. And when I pulled it off the plant, it was kind of soft. Like it was starting to rot or whatever. So, I put, I, it officially was rotting, so I just. Knocked it off to the side where the other one was. So we'll see if we don't get something next year. <laughs> That's probably probably too early for it to. Uh, probably won't do because putting. But one day he. Uh, one day he started picking up pumpkins because I had them all sitting on our front steps. You pick up a pumpkin and run it around to all six of the neighbors, and he gave each neighbor a pumpkin. He was the pumpkin delivery guy. <laughs> he gave six away and kept six. You gotta have your priorities. Right? You don't want to give all your goods away. <laughs> so people got up the next day, and there was this pumpkin on their doorsteps. You can tell he's a uh, mama's boy through and through because I picked him up today. My wife picked up our oldest and uh, it's basically boys versus girls race to home and we won. So I'm like, oh, the boys won because the girls are slow. She's like, he's like, dad, you need to be nice to mom. <laughs> she tries her best. <laughs> I'm like, what? Where did this come from? If you want to keep her around, you need to be nice. Hey, you want me to plow five? It needs to be plowed, I think. No, we're good. We got creep. Seven, yeah, seven's gonna get done. Nine is ready for seed at some point. Yeah, Kyle. There's uh, screenshots over in uh, the screenshots, the screenshots channel. 
in my Discord of uh, the East Coast map that CCS 101 is working on. If all goes well, it will be ready uh, toward the end of October. Can't rush, uh, can't rush a master masterpiece, right? So there's a small soybean farm. It's just a couple hundred acres, not far from my house. And I've never met the people that own it, but uh, the guy that does hay right across from my house, I was talking to him, and he said that they're just going to let their, they're just going to plow their soybeans under this year, not even go harvest them. Too much rain? Uh, the guy said he'd spend more in diesel and labor than he would make from bringing in the soybeans because the price is so low right now. Oh. I guess the, uh, I guess the, uh, the odds that the price is going to go up anytime soon are pretty low. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was... I, I don't know if the hay farmers, you know, telling fishing stories or what. But, but they haven't touched that field. I mean, it's, it looks like it's, looks like it's about ready to harvest from the little I know about soybeans, but. Hey Fabio, what's up? I encourage you guys to go check out the uh, the screenshots if you haven't been following uh, the adventures of CCS's East Coast USA map. Got all kinds of wonderful things. That's good to hear. The uh, which one? The building. That's in the mod hub. He keeps putting stuff in that map, doesn't he? <laughs> we, we have to quit coming up with ideas, and Darren has to quit making things. It's cool. <laughs> He's telling me about before we started the stream on Friday that he was working on uh, deconstructing a greenhouse, and he was going to make a garden in that little field 29 on this map. And then uh, you or somebody else put that uh, that mod thing, that mod in, that came out. It was basically similar to that. Then Darren finished up the uh, greenhouse and was like, oh, well, you know, he does have a farmer's market as, yeah. a, as a sell point. So the, the highs... Dairy Factory yeah, I saw that, uh, is a Darren I just put creation. it in there. I thought it was interesting. I didn't think anybody would tear it apart and put it in their map. The, uh... You basically, I had made a comment that it would be... It, I was looking for a dairy that could make uh, goods that we could sell at the creamery. And, uh... Darren took that idea on as kind of a personal challenge. And put this dairy together. It produces cheese, yogurt, and uh, butter. And homogenized milk around the back. Uh, it's not a placeable though. It, it's something you got to put in the map. So, uh, if you're interested, Darren actually has a version of this map that he's been editing that uh, he put in, in my edit, it makes, uh, mod links. Cream, too. Yeah. Um, in my mod links, there is a uh, 
his edit is posted up there. So it's got this dairy in it that he's later enhanced and added cream to. Uh, he also has this high semi and milk trailer. So the cream then goes to a creamery that makes ice cream uh, that then you take back and uh, sell at the uh, at the creamery. His edit also has some apple orchards and some greenhouses, maybe. Oh, yeah, you just put the greenhouses in. Or a, not a greenhouse, but a uh, uh, kind of a garden over here on field 29. Garden is back here. It's a little old field 29, which we completely forgot about had corn in it. We made that into a kind of a uh, a garden area. <laughs> That's your sweet corn patch. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. But the dairy is in the mod links also, but it's not a placeable. It's a GE item. So if you're familiar with using Giants Editor, you could add it in. Oh, an all-night harvest. I guess it's going to be dry enough. You're not going to be impacted by the... Uh, the nighttime moisture and dew and all that. Uh, no new map reviews, Fabio, coming up. Yeah, to be completely honest, I've kind of currently are am not overly motivated to uh, to go out and hunt down maps uh, at the moment. So. Kind of just chilling on the mod on the map videos. At the moment. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, I'll, I'll, if you, if I was able to put it in GE, I'm sure it's not going to be too difficult. The mod list for this map, I don't have one. Uh, just tell me what mod you're looking at, are interested in, and I'll see if I can uh, can direct you to the right place. We've got lots of really great. Oops, let me turn. Got lots of really great folks that uh, in chat that might be able to uh, to help with uh, the mod links.
uh, 31,000, almost 32,000 in those uh, dairy goods. That was a couple of days worth of production. Close the gate up. Uh. I did. If it's a fabric script, um, I think I'd also in that video may have um related it to the uh m company script also uh, why don't i do more larger uk us based well i tell you the maps i play are the maps that i feel drawn into um yeah i'm definitely not going to play a map just because it's popular uh you know I was, I was hoping that I would feel drawn into Lone Oak, but uh, when I was looking around, I really doesn't, really didn't feel drawn into it. Um, yeah, we did. I played for about six months on UMRV. That's a pretty good sized map, you know, 4x. We had Oklahoma up on the uh, multiplayer server. But uh, to be honest, I really didn't feel drawn too much into Oklahoma. I've played Oklahoma for just a little bit. Yeah. Like I said, I really wasn't feeling drawn into it. It's just. Yeah, it wasn't. Just it was. It felt like it was just a map. That uh, lots of people were excited about. Okay. I didn't really get excited about it. Which is fine. Not every map's for everybody. I was going to do a, uh, a video, a map series on... Um, Northwest Texas, long, long time ago. I had spent probably a good couple weeks editing up a uh, editing up Northwest Texas and adding some stuff to it, reworking the main farm because I just felt the main farm was a bit blah with the uh, the buildings that were in there. I added a uh, water tower uh, and like a pump, pump water up. I uh, added in the uh, canola um, bio di biodiesel and actually switched it over so it took um, corn instead of canola. I put in a, uh, a factory that takes um, slurry and I switched it over to take digestate and it would make... Um, liquid manure and our liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer and I was going to have a massive uh, cow dairy operation and uh, well I loaded the map up with animals and the thing just crashed constantly on me I took the animals out I didn't have any problems so that was the end of Northwest Texas Set up. Uh, 
that up. Run over here to the store. Or pick up. For single player, I'm I usually don't I like the small maps. For me. It's usually what I'm drawn to. Yeah, and, I mean, other than this map and Emerald Coast, I'm not playing anything. I don't have I don't have personal saves that I just play for fun. I just don't have time. So, if I'm in Farm Sim, it's going to pre pretty much be this point in time, this map or Emerald Coast. Then when East Coast comes out, it'll be East Coast and Emerald Coast, and this map will go by the wayside. I'll be on Emerald Coast until after 19 comes out. So, I just don't have the opportunity to play seven or eight different maps. There's some folks that play, like, you know, put a video out five days a week and play a different map every day of the week. So you get, let's say, South Mountain Creamery on Tuesday, and you got to wait a whole week before you get another Tuesday you know, video. That takes like nine months to get anywhere. Oh, there you are. Yeah, right now I'm playing... Uh, a couple days a week with you on this one, and then I've got the Blackbird server. We're still oh. doing that uh, that French map, which is a pretty good little production map. Let's go over here and get a cultivator and help Raz out. And then for single player, I, I've been playing Darren's SMC edit. That's about it for me. DB's asking what map's on the server, on your server at the moment. Uh, the English translation is Charming Countryside, but if you go to FS... Or, I think it's FSUK or PCSG. It's, uh, I can't think of the French name. Hang on. Tell them yeah, it's probably PCSG. It's uh, by the Jeremy. The Jeremy. Not just Jeremy, right? Yeah, it's the Jeremy. With a G. Ah, uh, no. Mid mo Jimmy, that's not normal. Uh, what's what geo do you have in? Uh, what map is it? It's definitely not normal. What season length are you playing? And it's every crop or just which crops have you tried? Uh, 
Alright, three day seasons. Alright, so the first day of autumn is only, or early autumn is only one day. So the second day of autumn is, is mid autumn. Yeah, you should have a longer harvest season than just early autumn. I don't know. I'll be right back. Klein, I gotta tuck some kids in. Alright. Where did you, uh, where did you get seasons from? Did you get it from somewhere other than the mod hub? Giants mod hub? I mean, this map is using a modified version of Midwest and you can see harvest is all autumn for sunflower, soybeans and corn. Now harvest ends in early autumn for wheat, barley and canola and three day seasons would basically mean this is one day this is one day and this is one day so I could see why you would wither wheat, barley and canola you shouldn't be withering these crops in one day Unless you've got a weird geo in. But if you don't have a weird geo in, then uh, I'm not sure what it is. Let's see here. Six and. All right. Oh, I should turn around. I need to go the other way. I'm glad you got it figured out. That's fine. Yeah, that would be normal. For wheat, barley, and canola. For most geos. Now, of course, those crops should have come due, uh, depending on when you planted them, earlier than that. I don't know if you asked about a particular mod and I just didn't see the question. So if for any reason you ask a question and I don't respond, I might not have seen it. Feel free to ask again. Hey David, what's up? So who else is out there that runs uh, ATS? Is excited about um, Thursday? Yeah, I got a video on Newland, Texas. I wasn't so keen on it. I, I give you a secret. I'm not so keen on ginormous fields. You know, if it's going to take like five harvesters three hours to do a field, I'm not really that interested. Yeah, I'm excited about Oregon Thursday. Planning on uh, live streaming some Oregon Thursday night. Like I think the official entrance into field three is right here. I'm pretty good. Just glad to be over here on uh, South Mountain Creamery. I mean, we were talking about maps earlier, and you know, when I looked at this map initially, I mean, it, it had me from probably about ten minutes in. I knew I was going to be uh, playing, wanting to play this map. Or 
hung up on the map boundary over there. I mean, it's got its quirks. It's got its interesting little uh, issues. But uh, no map is, is perfect from the outset. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Put the pivots in. After we get this field cultivated, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the uh, BGA there and see if we need to feed it or not. Oh, it's the boundary. I mean, like this field, I had to move that fence because for some reason the fence was out here in the middle of the field. Well, not the middle, but uh, the fence was definitely encroaching on the field. I moved the fence back. Moved this one tree back a little bit. I'm back. Alright, I'm up on three. Six needs done, and then, uh... Then we might speed into tomorrow morning. See what the ground temps have to say. Ah, Mustang Valley Ranch. So the plan for today is to finish cultivating up these fields. Just got three and six to do. And at that point, probably fast forward into um, till we have uh, decent planting temperatures for soybeans and corn. Although I think... Yeah, okay, we can put soybeans and corn down as, as soon as we want to. We really don't need to fast forward. We can put them down right now. We're going to put uh, corn in up here again in 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we're going to put soybeans in on 13. Um, as long as you're within the planting window, right? Yeah, we can technically plant today. Hey, Charlie Anderson. What's up? Yeah, I can't remember the name of that. Making money still? Yeah, we're getting about 800 bucks an hour. Pretty steady, good income. I think we basically plateaued off of he off of uh, silage. I've downloaded it, Fabio, but I haven't uh, installed it yet. I mean, honestly, to keep... Um, I find myself on Emerald Coast as often as I can be just to uh, keep moving things forward. You know, trying to play 10 years and uh, and not play you know 500 episodes to get there then um, 
Yeah, I'm trying to do maybe th two or three videos per season transition. And with 12 day seasons, that's pretty much, you know, four days. So for every one video I do, I probably do off screen work on three game days. So it takes quite a while to uh, to get that prepared and, and moved forward. Yeah, I heard it's got some, uh, I guess, GPS in the display or something. Um, and it also seemed like it had like gearbox and MR like built into the mod. So if you didn't play with gearbox or MR, you got some type of uh, errors in the log. On this, Charlie, on this game, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just me and a few other folks that I know because this is a uh, customized version of um, South Mountain that I didn't really want to uh, to openly share. All right, yeah, go make the girlfriend happy. Yeah, you might have to live with her for a lot longer than you think. Yeah, but to think in um, winter we were, we had a big loan, but, uh, BGA allowed us, and the uh, dairy basically allowed us to uh, pay off the loan. And now we're $225,000 in the black. Nice. Yeah, no, uh, no debt. That's the way it's intended to be. No debt. I wonder how many farms can say that, that they don't have any debt. Uh, probably not too many. Unless they've been around a really long time. Uh, this cultivator, I think, is... Uh, da -da 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 -da. What is this? I think this is over at... Um, Case Tiger, mate. I, I think it's remember. over at American Eagles Modding, maybe? Or modhoster.com. Just look up Tiger Mate. Case Tiger Mate. I think it's Mod Hoster, actually. Yeah, it's by LBJ Modding. And he usually puts his stuff over at um, Mod Hoster. But it might, over be, might be over at American Eagles also. through here and shut that thing down where we are here oh yeah we can feed this thing a little bit get plenty of manure in BGA still? So. Uh, let me check.
Uh, yeah, we, we no manure bonus. We burned through it. Had to bring a tank of slurry up there. He's bringing up slurry, I'll back this off. And let's go help him on field six. Yeah, we had an open, uh, we had an open server a couple weeks ago on Oklahoma. Oh, I've just got like um, three or four runs left. All right. But, uh, whoa. But that kind of lost interest. So we actually moved it over to a, uh, a different map and they were doing a uh, contest or a competition thing. Uh, but just like lots of things, that seemed to have lost interest. Um, so we're currently looking to uh, switch out the multiplayer server with something else. Don't really have a map picked out yet for that. We're going to come back down here. Gonna grab our um, bean planter. On my server, there's only. We're gonna get to uh, get some beans. Three of us that are active: myself, Tiger, and uh, a pistol. That's about it. Yeah. It yeah. happens. Yeah. It's rare. Rare you get, you know, a bunch of uh, super dedicated to the same. Same map. Oh. Get more than like three three weeks out of a out of an open map. You're probably doing pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do uh, co-op Mercury Farms when it comes out. That'll be the last one I do. I'll start the newsletters again. <laughs> oh, sweet. Hope it comes out. Yeah, I hope they... I hope they... start checking some mods soon. Every time I look, he's like, uh, no change, no change, no change. Oh, is he putting updates on uh, Facebook? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, the FS-17. Oh, uh, okay. I don't have Facebook. I, or, I do, I just never really use it. Come on, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. DB, it'll be open uh, when I do the Mercury Farms one. It'll just be open to everybody in Discord. Alright, saving. Staying up. You'll be uh, Associates of Blackbird Farms Incorporated. Uh, I got, I don't know how new it is, but yeah, I've got Unit Convert. It's been updated in the last uh, couple weeks, probably not. Oops. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. I'll just sit here and listen to the song. Can you get through, or am I blocking it all? I might make it. 
I think I got the one that's supposed to work with the tablet mod, but I don't have any tablet mods in to uh, to know. All right, what am I planting? Uh, corn. Unless you want to grab the little one and put soybeans in the uh, in nine. soybean seed anywhere well we're just gonna pretend that uh, that that's soybean seed because I got so much uh, I overbought the barley seed Darren's alternate universe, he's putting wheat in field nine. Interesting. You have any solid fertilizer or no? Yeah, it's across the way here on the trailer. Ten four. You need some fuel here. I'll spend some of your money. No! It's okay. It's like less than an hour of BGA. CCS said that if uh, East Coast was going to have a BGA or not, I think he might have said it didn't. Mm, I don't know. Then again, it might because he was talking about instead of doing bunkers, just doing um, vertical silos. I don't know. I liked on Hoff Bergman the the vertical silo, but you had to buy the silage additive to mix in there. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it was. Instead of just putting chaff in, you had to put chaff in the. Yeah, Fabio, the he's in. Portion. He's in my Discord. He's also over at uh, Eustace's Discord, and I think he's over at. Uh, that make silage. I think he's at SC S. SGS also. Some wagons that make silage? Like a trailer? Um, Never heard I of one. I, saw, I thought I saw a mod that you have to fill it with silage additive. Or maybe it, that's just required for it to operate. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Hey, Will. Did you say you had a BGA on East Coast? 
Maybe I was confusing a couple different projects. Cool, then I'll be able to use uh, the BGA extension. Yeah, I thought he was... Wasn't he talking about how he has uh, fill points set up for the BJ extension uh, I don't know the little story you did today in screenshots was funny where you got locked in the uh, <laughs> the, the, pig, the pig farm the manure area Yeah, I know you were talking about asking about fermenting silos and thinking about doing it that way as opposed to uh, bunkers. Then again, I didn't remember if maybe that was a, a different project altogether. I just recorded a video for um, uh, Emerald Coast and I was selling some milk and I noticed the clock rolled over to uh, 5 o'clock and I thought as I was driving there I thought oh no did I miss it did they go and close the doors on me but it was open they must close at 6 Welcome back, Haggard. Hope your discussion with the girlfriend wasn't too painful. <laughs> oh, yeah. It never stops, does it? I'm sure I'll figure out when it closes. I'll probably push the uh, push the boundary yet again. Should do one called the Rust Belt, Will. The Rust Belt. What's the Rust Belt? Oh, like uh, Ohio, Southern Michigan, Illinois, like all the areas that used to be manufacturing and now all the factories are closed up. Oh, uh, like Michigan and 
Minnesota and all those. Yeah, pretty much your uh, Ohio Valley. Ah, <laughs> uh, they'll have their business hours posted, so it won't be a uh, guessing game. And I have to say, I think this cedar is going to make its way down to Florida. The land purchasing that we've been doing as of late, the uh, smaller cedar is just not going to cut it. We need something a little bit bigger. And I've got a secret weapon hidden away that will make its make its debut probably in uh, winter on my uh... because we're going to need a bigger tractor too well, I got me a beast uh, let's go in here where it's quiet on my single player I'm using the liquid fertilizer production pack I like that thing yeah, that thing is nice. I got and then, uh, I got out sorry. of the habit of using it when I was uh, when we ran into problems with uh, UMRV with it, and uh, basically the game did an update. Giants did an update, and UMRV and Seasons and Liquid Fertilizer no longer wanted to play with each other. It seemed like the map would crash if I had Seasons and Liquid Fertilizer. Um, enabled at the same time. It was giving me grief with Shamrock, but I, I found out later on that was because of the placeable issue, I think. But, um, I have a big John Deere air drill that uses liquid fertilizer, and then that Case Cyclone a row planter, it uses liquid fertilizer. So it's like the perfect setup if you use that pack. Oh, yeah. No, DB, it's not the tri six. So my cedars use liquid. I never have to buy solid. That wouldn't, that wouldn't fit the, uh, that wouldn't fit the time period that I'm looking at. Remember, we're trying to fit 80s and 90s equipment. No newer. Um, I may have... I may hedge my way bets a little bit and go into early 2000s. I know what it is, but I'm uh, not gonna tell. But I can't, uh, I can't get a beast. The Fent Tri Six is too new. But, uh, but she's pretty hot. Already made the purchase. Just waiting on delivery. And you probably won't, big bud. probably won't roll her out until. Uh, until winter for uh, some plowing operations. Yeah, I thought about doing the little bit, little big bud, but uh, this one plays the part really well. No Fords, you know Darren, me and Fords. I want to find a good John Deere articulated. Uh, what is that big? I can't think. Is it eighty three hundred or the old square, old square nose, square nose Fords? That's Haggard put eighty three hundred in there. I don't know if that's the John Deere. Yeah, I want to find a good mod of that. I found one mod, but I wasn't happy with it. Uh, Ohio Bryce had put screenshots in, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't give yeah. me the mod link, did he? Yeah, yeah, that's. I like that one that he had. It seems like lately all I ever use is Case and John Deere. 
for all the American maps I've been playing. Actually, it's Case and John Deere that I use. Yeah, John Deere 8300. It's not a John Deere 8300. I can't tell you that. You'll know what's going on. They're really trying, aren't they? Jeez, you're going to have to wait till winter. Which will probably be, uh, what are we, in October? It'll probably be the end of October. That'll probably be by the time I hit winter. Because uh, I'm in late summer now. Late summer will air in two weeks. Oh, and I did the, uh, well, I did the conversion, um, rough conversion on wood chips. And I think we got, I think I got like 560,000 liters out of, uh, field three. A compost. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make. We're gonna sell it compost, though. I think we're going to uh, put it in the heating plant. Just sell wood chips. No, I'm not scared you'll figure it out. If I'd scared you'd figure it out, I wouldn't have mentioned it. I gotta give you something to think about while you're uh while you're doing an all nighter on the harvester. See I'm really doing you a favor. Take your mind off of the mind numbing harvest. <laughs> well, you need to quit listening to random people's suggestions, right?
Hey, farm all's forever. I know. I mean, well, you know, lots of people can say that they uh, they contributed ideas into the uh, the finished product. We're just now toy trying to figure out what we're going to do next for malls. It just seems that maybe folks have lost interest to some degree. Maybe it's just people are busy. I don't know. I mean, the suggestion was put out there. If, uh, you know, if activity was down, if it was worth looking at changing. Let's say if there's still, you know, enough interest in keeping her going, then we'll keep it, we can keep it going. But, you know, like I posted, if, if, if folks want to switch over, then uh, let's hear some ideas about, uh, about what would be cool. And what are people interested in, uh, in doing? I think the uh, I think the leading candidate right now is that warming something map in either a, a small team or a single single individual mode. It's a neat little map. You gotta watch out for those Polish police. They'll give you a speeding ticket. Yeah, that might be interesting. That might be interesting to see how MP Manager deals with. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. With speeding tickets, if it uh, if it's smart enough to decide that it's going to charge the team that owns the vehicle, or if it's just going to make it a. Uh, Unassigned to charge. <laughs> um, You're gonna lose all your profits. The mod pack that you had from uh, Maplewood. Like I said, the only I was playing around with the only one I found that issue with was that Fiat. Yeah, and that might be a bad MR conversion. Yeah, I haven't I mean, stripped it out yet. I'm. I'm not very good at that stuff. I was going to try. Oh, you just go into the uh, the databank zip file. There's a folder that's like um, mod conversions or something. And then in there, all the all the XMLs obey a very strict naming scheme. So you should be able to find the fiat very easily. Then just take it out. As soon as you take it out of that folder. Presto, it's DMR'd. I like MR. Um, I mean, but if people don't want to play with it, we don't have to. I mean, it's... The thing with MR, it forces you to use the drive control features. You don't have to use a gearbox, but you do have to use the 
uh, logging differential and that kind of stuff. I don't know, I used it on um, Rathlin, I didn't use drive control. I tried uh, I tried on that map, I tried plowing one of the flat fields and my tires kept slipping. So I had to lock lock it in, lock that differential. Uh, well, again, it, every MR conversion is different, so it may just spend the tractor. Yeah, it was a little that massive you were, Ferguson. That you were using, maybe the conversion basically dictated that normal mode was two-wheel drive or something? Yep. Uh, all right, you said corn next? Yeah. Well, corn would go up in the uh, BGA fields. All right, I'll start working on those. Is that three, four, and five? And six. I'll start with the little one. Are you talking about uh, controllers? Yeah, on the hills, that's the one with the uh, sheep or the goats to do wool. You were asking me the other week which which map that was. Oh, uh, don't ask me about that, Haggard. It's whatever... Whatever you think she would be into. I don't know if, I don't know if two years is the rawhide anniversary or what. I've got a, uh, a wireless Xbox controller. I tried it with Farm Sim, but I don't know. I never could figure out the uh, the controls. I always kept forgetting which buttons did what. It seemed like half the buttons didn't do what I wanted them to do. Then again, I didn't spend an overly great long time period trying to uh, do the key bindings or anything. Because really, I was just trying to use it when I was doing a laptop and I was traveling. I haven't played, well, we play Wii as a kid. Um, 
But the last console that I actually had and played was uh, the original Xbox. And to some degree that had more buttons than I could deal with too. So, I would say I would say the last time I was comfortable using a controller was probably way back in the Sega Genesis days. Anything more than that, it was just starting to get too many buttons. Uh, whatever whatever happened to the to the you know a b c and d button and then you had like your directional buttons and that was your deal i think that died like in 1988 Yeah, just having four buttons. Yeah. I mean, this Xbox controller has got two joysticks, a four-way controller, four buttons, and then two triggers and two top buttons. And it's like, what the heck? Then I guess you've got button control. You know, Hold one button, then you do, then all of a sudden everything else does a whole new set of things. Uh, I mean, Nintendo originally just had an A and a B button. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I'm not, uh. I'm just not big on, uh. I think it was the Super Nintendo that had the programming custom ended buttons. Ended up with uh, four buttons and two triggers. I mean, I've got I've got a whole bunch of buttons on this. I got a whole bunch of buttons on this wheel. They do stuff, but I don't have a clue what they do. Other than this one button, I keep hitting that actually makes me. Exit the vehicle. Hey, Alien Jim. <laughs> we were just chatting it up with you about you. That Mercury Farms is a hot topic amongst uh, some of us. It's Alien. He is up awful early. Right? That or he's been up awful late. The Atari was awesome with stick and, and the one button and the button. What do you do? I just figured it out. <laughs> Think you can figure it out. So the kids came home from Dollar General or something with Atari emulator knockoff, which was just the old controller that you plug in the TV. And that kept them busy for like four hours. Four-year-olds trying to play some alien invasion game where you have to uh, shoot down rockets or something with, with the stick and a button. <laughs> <clears throat> I know. I saw. I, well, last week I saw there were like Probably seven mods. I saw there were like seven mods waiting for testing. And then the update today, and it's like 23. It's like, oh my gosh, people. I mean, it makes you want to do one of two things. Tell the modders, quit putting mods out for 17, people. And two, 
just spend a couple of days, Giants, and just whittle it down to nothing and then just close off the submissions. I mean, we got poor console folks still waiting for Shamrock Farms or whatever it is. Then I saw a supposed update to Shamrock over at mod, modland.net. So I posted over at FSUK about it. And Bullet Bill's like, send me a send me a direct message with the link. So I sent him the message. And he's like, yeah, that's some private edit knockoff thing. So I got work to get it taken down. I was like, well, you know, I saw it, it seemed out of, out of the ordinary. Then again, I said, I don't know, maybe... Maybe Oxygen get David got a little tired of waiting on Giants and... Just put the PC version out on Facebook or something. And that's where they grabbed it from. So he's like, no, if we don't put it in Mod Hub, it'll be over at FSUK, so... Yeah, so if you, if you downloaded the, uh... Some version of of uh, Shamrock that's over scraping the mod sites recently. I wouldn't use it because it's definitely not an official edit, and it might not be the best quality. Yeah. Has it been kicked back a few times? Or are you still waiting on testing from the uh, from the other time? Seven seventy eight, that's what I'm getting a BGA. Not bad money. Yeah, we talked we talked after you got it back the first time. And uh and you turned it around and sent it back real quick. So it was one of the seven last week that was in for waiting on testing. And now it's twenty three again. All we can do is just just wait, right? All we can do is just wait. I wonder what field 12 costs. Let's see what field 12 costs. Yeah, if I remember reading the form right, they didn't do any testing last week. I think he put a couple times that they're too busy doing 19 stuff. Oh, 264, it's too much. Yeah, you know, it's the, uh, it's the big push, because, I mean, for what I understand, the, uh, you know, the console version's got to be ready, you know, some amount of time in advance, because it's got to go to the, uh, to the manufacturing for, uh, you know, printing on discs. So, you know, you can't have the the console version to the eleventh hour. It's gotta be it's gotta be done. You know, to, to some, be in, has to be in store on the twentieth. Right? Some number of weeks ahead, yeah, in order for the discs to be pressed and printed. The man, the labels and everything to be made up, the packaging to be put together and to be shipped off to distribution to be at the stores for launch day because you know games nowadays are simultaneously launched online and you know in stores 
So, you know, let's just say that it's a month ahead of time. So, Giants doesn't have two months. They've got three weeks. Until they ship it off, if, if not less time. For the P console version. I mean, in theory, the PC version probably could last a little longer. But there's, there's packaged versions of the PC game, too. So, you think that... You know, they're probably literally down to the last couple weeks of testing and development before it's got to go to gold for disc press. At that point, it's just going to be fixing things that, you know, you know, day zero patch. Yeah, that's or update. That's what I was about to say you'll you'll put the disc in and it'll be like update update required. Like what? I just bought the freaking game. Yeah, that's how it works. So maybe there will be a uh, not that DB wants to hear, but maybe it'll be another two weeks of very little be little activity, and then they'll kind of be done with 19 and be able to flood some 17 stuff out. Alien Jim, will they actually cut off your ability to submit at some point? Charlie, we've already talked about this. Don't bring it up again. I think that's what it'll be. It'll probably be, uh, what are we at? <laughs> We're the first day of October. So my guess is there might not be a lot coming out this week, maybe even next week. But maybe by the third week of October, there will be some, uh, some stuff going on. And by the end of October, there might be a, uh, you know, a flood of 17 mods released. That's just me guessing. That's about all it is. They'll do like a, a mega dump. <laughs> like, okay, that's it, we're done. Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't involved in 15 to know. I don't think there were too many mods being put out for 15 after 17 was released. At least not in official location. No, uh, DB, he's not uploading it to the mod hub. Is he going to go to PCSG? Mod Hub has a file size limit on the maps. I think it's 768 megs or something. File's probably too big for Mod Hub. Yeah. I mean, most of most of CCS's maps are like a gig to 1.2 gigs because of the uh, extra foliage layers and whatnot. Alright, 
three's got corn in it. I'm gonna go to six. It's small. Should be able to get it done by 11:30. Oh, you might need some fertilizer before then. I'll run the truck up to you. I might. See, on glance, it says I have 99% corn, but on my, uh, my HUD in the corner, it says 72%. Because the cedar has some amount of corn capacity or seed capacity and then you've got the front hopper so you've emptied the cedar and now you're using the front hopper that's because the front hopper holds like 1500 ah. so glance is reading that you have 98% of 1500 I know you'd hope that they'd get some time because of all the, uh, you know, all the effort that you've put into it. For sure. I know Will's told me that uh, Emerald Coast he had ready like, like right before 17 hit. So probably not a lot of people actually ended up playing the 15 version. Yeah, DB, there's been a lot of folks, a lot of folks over at Sim Station have, uh, have said that they are probably going to continue to play 17 until Seasons and or MR come out for 19. this up and then we'll uh, then we'll go get uh, the truck we'll, we'll let Raz fill up Whoa. Would help to go back up to the trailer. There we go. The trailer's missing, must be behind us. The horn like on this. Oh, can't hear the horn over the engine.
All right. Let's pull one in here. I'll be right there. Set her in. I'm really excited to see how the multiplayer works. Oh, I don't have the uh, thing That's there. what I'm really anticipating. Yeah, that will be, it will be interesting to see how they've implemented that. Let's see what other fields we might be able to... Oh, this one's way too big. Too money. We don't have near the money we need to buy this one. Hmm. Thousand. Expensive. Need some thousand. <laughs> He's shopping for fields. This one got it. Cola. Yeah, I'm shopping for fields. Field eight. It's right there by the farm. Oh, this one could work. Yeah, I'm looking for fields of character. Ah. 15 looks rather interesting. 14 looks cool, too. It's down there by the bridge. Those long, skinny ones up there near town. And I don't remember ever looking at those. I wonder what they look like. It's like 21 or 22. I can't remember. I guess I have a map. I can look. Yeah. 20, 21, 22. Yeah, it's long and skinny. Nothing special. I think I'm for be special. 15 is pretty cool. It kind of fades down toward the river. What about field one? Up there by the shop. Tucked away in the corner up there. Just walk around field 14. All is up to our chest. Man, 211 pigs. Yeah, they keep producing, don't Right over here by our dairy. That one's kind of flat. Played 18. Yeah, I'm watching you. Your stream. It's played Nothing's 18 when we were on Raznik's server. 17. 16's cool, but it's pretty big. 600,000. Ouch. You do 37 with a creek running down the middle. I know. Got a lot of creek. You plow it under. You just plow it under. All right, plow Fabio. You want there. Thanks for coming by. All right, let's get back. Got a birthday party tomorrow. My youngest will be nine tomorrow. Youngest? Yeah. Let's put, what's, what's the oldest then? Five. 
Uh, he he's ten. He'll be eleven in November. Oh, okay. Is the theme a secret? Uh, no real theme this year. We uh, we're just having a little impromptu cake, pizza, maybe a couple balloons. Nothing, nothing crazy. Ah, kind of over birthday parties. <laughs> A good kiss party. Yeah, you know, grandmas and grandpas are coming. And that's about it. A couple cousins. Yeah, we got some ter Nerf Wars party in November. The wife's feeling guilty because when we thought we were only going to have one kid, then for like the first ten birthday parties, it was always some greatest, great, you know, extravagant affair where it's like, are you serious how much money are we throwing down on this thing? <laughs> so she's feeling guilty. So for his first, his fifth birthday party, we're going to have some Nerf thing. She's been buying stuff left and right. Some we, we did that. Some big package came the other day. Opened it up. Personalized plates. You know, paper plates with with like Nerf Battle Party and then his picture. He's got sun he's got Mickey Mouse sunglasses on. Like the wraparound kind that look cool. And he's got his single shot nerf pistol pointing out at you. Like, you know, are you feeling lucky punk? pose so it's got plates it's got these vinyl banners to hang up I mean all this stuff it's like what on earth we bought a because we did a nerf party for both the boys a couple of years ago together and uh, my wife had like she bought boxes of kids sunglasses from like Amazon like really cheap sunglasses that way, you know, we didn't have any screaming kids saying, I got poked in the eye. <laughs> Gotta then, have eye protection. Yep. Then we collected boxes for like three months, and I built this giant box for duct tape and, I mean, everything. And uh, it lasted about 30 minutes before the kids knocked it down. That's 30 minutes. And they were like, it's okay, Dad. We'll just build something else. So they just started building their own stuff out of the boxes. So I was like, it's all right. 30 minutes is an eternity to kid time. But, uh, but my youngest, we, we found out how vicious he was. Because, uh, you know, they were trying to play by rules. Like, if you get hit with a Nerf bullet, you had to pretend to be out of the game. So my little one, like, people would you know, stop moving. There's like freeze tag with nerf guns and he just like walk up to him and shoot him right in the back. <laughs> he's, just, he's just double he's double tapping everybody. <laughs> yeah, apparently we got these little single shot nerf pistols to hand out to all these kids. There's gonna be stations and stuff. I don't know. I just I just show up. Yeah. I'm not the, I'm not the party planner. I've used that same statement since I got married. Just tell me where to be. Yeah, I show up and hope that I can deal with it for more than three hours and then hopefully the party's over by then. Alright, Farmall. Talk to you later. See you, Farmall. But we're not going to be done this field by the time the stream's over. That's for sure.
we'll probably be planting 13, 4, and 5 next on Wednesday. Then Thursday, Thursday is going to be Oregon, ATS night. Let's see what Friday holds. Friday will probably be harvesting barley. Because <laughs> it's final growth. So, probably uh, early summer it'll be ready, I hope. That'll be you and Darren or whoever you can get to help you Friday. I don't know where Spectre's been. He, he sent me a message one time, said something about his game was messed up, but I don't know if he's yeah. been on since or not. I know he, I know he started a new job. I'm pretty sure, so I don't know if that's got him tied up. We were chatting a little bit this evening about, uh, I guess Maverick's new map. Apparently, someone uh, did the unmentionable and. Oh, uh, they released it. Yep. Every every map author's worst nightmare of you know giving the map out for people to test and uh, show off, and then it go and uh, find its way someplace. I don't know why people do that. It just it ruins the. Experience no, it's not factory farm. That one's that one's like a an edit of Mavericks. This was a whole different map. Completely different PDA. Um, if you look at Maverick's Facebook, he's got it's called Jonah's Farm or something. It was to be released on October 10th. We won't even mention the name. <laughs> um, it was to be released on October 10th, and it was being coordinated with the uh, with a whole bunch of folks. And yeah, then that happened. Oh, it's getting dark. You know, there's a way a map maker could catch, catch a leaker. I mean, could you, could you put like a custom in the mod description, like put a serial number or whatever when you give somebody the copy and then when they upload it, you would, uh, you would know who you gave it to. It could be even more coy. You could, uh, you could bury something custom underneath a texture somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so you dude. could put a texture under a texture. Uh, you would know what texture was for what. So you could, and the, then you would know which one of the people you gave it to leaked it. I mean, yeah. you'd have to make you'd have to make different test versions, just little changes to each one. But. You know, technically, selling of selling of mods or maps is is against Giants' terms of service. Um, of course, it's probably not the you know not the Giants is going to go after anybody probably, but uh, technically, it's against their terms yeah. of service to use the editor uh, for anything. So, like. Um, yeah, to some degree, the folks that are like doing, um, you know, Patreons or people that give money get access to mods. Technically, that's kind of kind of skirting things. Um, yeah, you know, kind of they're they're getting around that a little bit by kind of doing the early access concept, but claiming at some point it will be open to the public. 
you know? But I do hope that Mavericks gets that all straightened out. So apparently the map was was for a pretty good cause. I know he's asked people on Facebook if they if they see, see it posted somewhere to let him know so he can basically give him a takedown oh, notice. Doing a charity with it. Yeah, the way I understand it, it was um, it was for a uh, a kid who was maybe uh, terminally ill or something. So I think it was more like a requested map. Ah. Uh. Kind of like, um, kind of like uh, Cherry Hills was. Yeah, I thought Stevie had done had done that too, hadn't he? Yeah. Wasn't there a? Uh, was it Skelp? Farms wasn't that a fundraiser one? Yeah, Skelton was going to be the Mappers Paradise Answer Charity map that gotcha. uh, kind of fell through due to um, some unfortunate situations. No. CCS did a good post over at FSUK about it and in the work in progress thread because some folks were kind of being down on it like well I guess it'll never come out and then somebody was like you know people shouldn't do work in progress posts because most of these maps never show up and and all this other Debbie Downer stuff but he was like basically you know sometimes life happens otters are people and you know, this isn't their full time job and Sometimes things get in the way, and and maybe, yeah, maybe it will still come out. Maybe it won't, or we can just hope that it comes out in 19. Yeah, because it had yeah. lots of uh, lots of promise to it. But it was kind of a to steal a name of a movie. It was kind of a series of unfortunate events that led to its. It's demise. Not, not coming out as as expected. All right, I'm gonna park this by the seed and fertilizer truck. Is that okay? Leave it here. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna mess with it. The BGA's got security, so you're probably Oops, good. Wrong button. Sorry. I saw that. <laughs> Got a little laggy and all of a sudden I'm seeing it. Helper <laughs> MLJB. I'm like, what the heck? Hit the wrong button there. Alright guys, well we're going to go ahead and close her out for the night. Thank you for coming out and watching. We'll be back here on Wednesday doing some more of the same. Where are you at? 10. Ah, yeah. Until next time, guys. Happy farming. <laughs>